Hi, it's me, Riley. I'm gonna tell you right now that this is not gonna be a normal video. I am absolutely livid, and there is 100% going to be foul language, so, so if you are sensitive to foul language, click off this video, don't watch it, because here it comes. <laughs> I am not happy. And I will tell you why I'm not happy, because people are stupid. People are bigots, people are rude, and one of my biggest issues is dealing with transphobia from people. Because as a trans person, I find it offensive. Most trans people find it offensive, and like there are certain things I feel like we can tolerate. Like, the purposeful misgendering sometimes, like being a jerk, and some of the slurs, but like this, I could not tolerate. So here we go, I'm gonna tell you what happened. This whole thing started because this kid, I think he's a freshman this year, goes to the high school I went to, okay? Follow him on Instagram. Why in the first place? Heck if I know, I don't know why I followed him. Okay, he posts this picture. I'm going to try and crop it and put it right here. As you can see, it is horrible. The whole thing is a picture of a trans woman. If you can't like see this, I'll tell you what it is. It is the, a picture of a trans woman, and let me pull it up. I am so livid at this. I took screenshots of the whole thing before he deleted the post. I was, oh my god. So it is a screenshot, it is a picture of this beautiful colored trans woman. And the uh, text above the picture says, man, I give up. This is a damn man. We are officially screwed, fellas. From now on, I am only dating pregnant women, and I have to go with them to the doctor to see her, with her, to see the ultrasound. Hashtag single man struggles. Hashtag you can't even tell these days. Where do I begin? Okay. So this is this kid. I'm not going to name names. Um... I'm frustrated if you know me in real life, follow me on like Instagram or you follow me on Facebook or add, have friends with me on Facebook, y'all know who it is because I was not censorship on my social media. This made me mad. <laughs> I wonder why. Um, so I commented and I said, I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures of her before, which I have. She's a trans woman, which means she's a woman, okay? He said, a dude that became a woman. I said, no, a woman. She's a woman, period. And by this point, one of my other good, good friends commented, unfollowing, not going to deal with this transphobic bullshit, which, praise, hallelujah, you go, Cassie, I love you. And then he said, a man-she thing, bruh. This is where it starts. <laughs> this is where it starts. I got so fucking mad, and I am not, oh my god. Sorry, mom, sorry, dad. Told you I was going to, foul language. I had kept my censorship on all my social media. I am not gonna do it here. This is so important. I need to, oh, I'm so frustrated. And so he says, a man she thing, bruh. And I say, no, she's a woman, a girl, whatever you call female identifying people. And she is in no way a man or a thing, like he said in the previous comment. He says, well, she was born with a dick. I'm literally, okay, I'm just gonna like tell you guys this whole story first before I get into this. I say, so that doesn't matter, she's still a woman. He says, just looks like one. I said, no, she is one. Her genitals do not define her gender. No one's genitals define their gender. And people's, including her genitals, are none of your business. It doesn't matter what she's got down there. She's still a woman, which there in itself is true. Like, none of your business. Like, what her junk is, is none of your business, unless you are sleeping with her. Even then, if she says it's none of your business, it's none of your goddamn business. Oh, God, okay. And then he says, no, he is not. It's inhumane-like. It's a disgrace to our nation. So, I say, it's not inhuman, because guess what? She is a human. Trans people do exist, ju not just in the U.S. They exist everywhere, and there's no such thing as what a woman or a man looks like. It is a construct made up by society that says men should be masculine, and women should be feminine, and it's bullshit. She's a woman because she says she is, that's how she identifies, period, and you don't get a say in that, which I believe you can use this 
For whatever situation, like if you're talking about gender or sexuality or religion, like you don't get a fucking say in what somebody else believes. Like, sorry. Like, it, it's none of your business. Like, it doesn't matter. And he says, yeah, and I'm the president, so that makes me the president, right? And I have freedom of speech. I can say whatever the hell I like. Listen, kid. You 100% have the freedom of speech, but guess what? I do too. You can say whatever the hell you want. Go ahead. But I can also say whatever the hell I want. And I will defend my people until I die. I'm not going to put up with transphobic bullshit. You spewing your crap all over the internet trying to make people say, oh, we're going to discriminate or we're going to hate against this one person because of one thing that they cannot change. Like, it's fucking stupid. Like, don't do that. I have a feeling this video is going to be really long. I'm sorry. I said, yes, you do have the freedom of speech, and so do I, and I don't tolerate transphobia. The president is elect an elected official. Someone's gender is not. Gender is who they are and who they identify as. Then I go on. Like Laverne Cox, for example. She's a woman despite what she was assigned at birth. Or Chaz Bono, a man despite what he was assigned at birth. People make assumptions based on the presentation of genitalia that the individual will grow up to conform with societal gender constructs when it's completely wrong. There are things in this world that just are, and her being a woman is one of them. Praise Jesus. The way I word these, I'm so proud of myself, okay? And I think, like, we're done. And he's like, too bad that shit's wrong. No. No, transphobia and discrimination is wrong. People living their lives isn't. Then I get, he says, I'm a normal, in normal in all caps, male. I am what I was made to be. There's no discrimination here. I just personally think it's fucking disgusting. What the hell do you think discrimination is? You don't like fucking sit up there and tell someone, say that someone's a piece of shit and that you are like gonna go with your future girlfriends to, and make sure they have to be pregnant and go with them to the ultrasound because you're worried that they have a dick. Like it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't fucking matter if she's got a dick. She's still a she. And frankly, this is such an insult to women in general. And I'm not even a woman and I'm offended by this. Like, no, you don't, her genitals are none of your fucking business. Like get the hell out. So that's, Pretty much where that ended on Instagram. This is on Instagram, okay? And then I was blocked. I was blocked on Instagram. So fast forward. While this whole thing on Instagram was going on, I was posting the screenshots on Facebook. And I was like, look at this shit. This shit needs to stop. It's transphobia. It's bad. We need to educate people. My trans brothers and sisters, we gotta rise up. We gotta, like, get over this. We gotta educate people. And don't, like, I got overwhelming support on Facebook. I was so surprised because I like to avoid Facebook like the fucking plague because I hate it. I hate it. People are so nasty on it most of the time. But here, I commented it all, and I get a comment from the older sister of a kid I went to school with who is a senior this year. The sister is graduated and is working, and it blows my mind, honestly. So she comments on my post that said, update on the transphobia, seriously guys, educate people, this is unacceptable, and I attached screenshots to it. She says, humans are the only animals who change their gender and then bitch about it when normal people don't understand to make themselves feel, to make them feel better about themselves. It's not normal and it's not right. And you shouldn't be shaming people just because they don't understand something that was never meant to happen in the first place. Delete me, block me if you must. All I'm saying is don't make people bad for not understanding or accepting it. You're just as bad as them. You're judging somebody for judging you. Go figure. No. <laughs> That's literally, I was so livid, like, I had to, like, stop for a minute. And usually when shit like this happens, I'm not one to reply. I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna roll off my back, I'll delete the comment, block them, whatever. And that's how I do, like, most shit, like, when I post the occasional political post, which I literally avoid doing like a play. This is fucking bullshit. I do not tolerate transphobia. My Facebook is an LGBTQ plus friendly, it's a safe space for everybody, and this bitch was not making it friendly, and I'm sorry, I don't call people bitches, I like, I do it sarcastically to my friends, but this is not an okay thing, I am so mad, you do not just go around saying that, first of all, the whole thing about it not being natural, your, 
you're you're wrong. Like you are a cis person, and you have you frankly have no idea what a trans person goes through. Like you don't get to sit there and say that it's not natural or that like you change your gender because you're, like it's bullshit. Like you're wrong. Like you have no idea. You are not a trans person. You don't have a say in what is and what isn't. And and then she's like. And then we're the people who bitch about it when normal people don't understand. Okay, I have never in my life witnessed, heard of a story of a trans individual bitching because a cis person did not understand their situation. Yes, I see trans people bitching about transphobia because that fucking makes sense. But never have I ever witnessed a trans person complaining or bitching because a cis person didn't understand their situation. We do not fucking expect you to understand our situation, okay? Here's the thing, we wouldn't wish being trans on anybody because it fucking sucks. And while I would not change being trans for the world because it has made me who I am, it has made me a better person, it has made me strong and confident, other people don't feel that way. But I would never fucking wish being trans on my worst enemy because it feels like shit. Going through all these transitions, all these doctors, all these people saying you, you're wrong and disgusting. Dealing with the whole family acceptance, being disowned. Like, there are people that are being tr killed because they're trans. I would not wish this on a single fucking person. You have no right to say that we bitch about cis people not understanding. We don't give a shit. We don't want cis people to understand because it fucking sucks. And then after that, on that like one particular comment, someone I also went to school with who was in my who's my age commented, hadn't talked to this person in years. They commented like in my defense, and I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and of course, like what I just kind of said, I'm like getting out of breath. I'm like I'm so livid. Um, I basically said that whole thing in another comment, and then they commented, you don't bitch. All you do is bitch about your rights and how you shouldn't be judged and blah, blah, blah. A lot of people don't agree with it. Get over it. A lot of people don't agree with my smoking either, as if you could fucking compare the two, but I get the fuck over it. If you're going to live the life, then quit getting upset over the fact that people don't like it. There's always going to be someone who hates you for everything you do. Get over it. Bitch. <laughs> no. And like I said, I'm, I just kind of like put everything on there and I was like, I don't post politics. I don't post shit like that on Facebook. I post like Tumblr screenshots on Facebook because I think they're funny. I don't do Facebook. I don't like Facebook because there's too much drama and this is the kind of shit that I want to avoid. I don't want to get involved with it. But yeah, I'm so frustrated about this. And I'm like, no, here's the thing. I do 100% bitch about my rights because everybody has their own rights okay you can't sit there and take away somebody else's rights because you don't like that person or you don't like what that person is or you don't like what that person stands for like you don't you don't have a right to do that like everybody has a right to do whatever the hell they please as long as it's not infringing upon other people like that's in the constitution like you can do whatever the hell you want it's the pursuit of happiness okay so get the fuck off your high horse and listen so that's one of the things that I said. And I was like, just because you don't like or agree with something doesn't mean you should treat someone like shit because they are or do. And then I'm getting a lot of like nice comments like against this individual, not like bullying this individual, but like trying to educate this individual. So stuff like negativity is not what's needed right now. Please unfriend this person. Let my friend be. Have a good day. One of my good friends. Another one of the people was like, your lack of understanding is making you look bad. <laughs> A family friend points out all this and she said, I'm going to read her entire thing because she, her name is Sam. She's a family friend of ours. She's one of my favorite people in the world. And this is what she said. She said, I'd like to point a few things out on this thread of conversation. Regardless of how you feel on the matter, you just use the term you people in reference to transgender individuals. One, yes, all trans people are in fact people, which means that they should be treated with love and kindness regardless of whether you agree with their views. Two. Using the term you people demonstrates already how you feel. So step off your soapbox and deal with the fact that no one cares about your opinion. Praise, Sam. Three, 
Not long ago, and in fact still today, you people fighting for rights were all women in our nation. You are lucky that the people you who disagreed with your gender have allowed you to speak, write, get an education, hold a job, and have this ridiculous conversation. So how about we get this? Get some perspective about the way the world works, or be ignorant, that's fine, but you can hate quietly from your dark room where you obviously live your life. And then she comments, tags me, and says, I love you, always have loved you, I'm proud of the man you become, have a wonderful night and ignore this ridiculous person, she's, if what if that's what she defines herself as, doesn't deserve you, and then hugs and kisses, and I love Sam. So, that, that comment made me happy, that comment made me feel better. And then, here we go, the girl comes back, and the first thing she does is say something rude and derogatory. You're all retarded. It's the first three words in this comment. I'm like, are you kidding me? Have you not learned anything? And also to let you know, in this comment of hers, every single pronoun she used in reference to me was capitalized because I think that she feels that because she capitalized and used my correct pronouns and made an emphasis on that, that that uh, cancels out the fact that she's a transphobic. And I'm like, no, sorry. Just because you're not, well, she is being an asshole to me, but like, just because you're using my pronoun doesn't mean you're not a transphobic asshole. Like, <laughs> get that through your skull. So she says, you're all retarded. I wasn't attacking Riley or trans people. Then what the hell are you doing? I don't give a fuck what you are. Just don't be annoying about it like he is. How am I annoying? I'm like, I'm not dealing with transphobia. How is that an annoying thing? Transphobia is fucking annoying. Like, <laughs> sorry. Also, my social media, I can post whatever the hell I want. Um... Like, yeah, obviously you'll have haters. Shut the fuck up about it and move on. Earlier in his status, he called people who don't view things like him trash, which I, like, kind of did, but it was completely satire. It was a joke. I said something along the lines of, if you're transphobic or whatever, please unfriend me. Like, I don't unfriend you myself, but I think it's high time the trash took itself out. Literally, clearly meant as a joke. And apparently she's all offended by it. So... She says, so I'm going to go ahead and say that he's trash for not viewing things the way I see them. I'm not, I don't, I'm not bashing people's views, okay? People can view things and have an opinion on whatever the hell they want. I just demand respect for people as people because they're fucking people. Like, you can't... <sighs> fucking trans people demand... Let me find it again. Fucking trans people demand respect and whatnot, but they're the first people to get shitty with you if they feel even the slightest bit offended. LOL, and yes, I am a she because I was born with tits and a vagina. Fuck off. How the hell, are, like, how self-conscious do you have to be to end it with that? Like, you're a she because you were born with tits and a vagina. Guess what? I'm a he. Was I born with tits and a vagina? Yeah, I was. But guess what? Get the fuck off your high horse. I'm still a he. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you're a she because you say you're a she. Like, you feel like a girl. Like, good for you. You're not a she because you have a vagina. Like, get over yourself. And saying that, like, trans people demand respect and whatnot, hell yeah we demand respect. Because we don't get fucking respect from the common people. We don't get respect from the majority of cis people because they think we're trash. And I'm like, this is, I can compare this to, like, the race riots. And people are like, when I say you can't judge someone because they're trans, and they say, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's literally the exact fucking same as saying that this person doesn't deserve to be treated with respect because they're black, or because they're Christian, or because they're Islamic, or because they are Asian. Like, you can't say that about someone. Like, and then, because people are like, well, no, that's fucking stupid. You can't be discriminatory or treat someone inhumanely just because they're black, Hispanic, Islamic, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly the fucking same thing. <laughs> She's so mad. And I said, we don't, remain, we don't demand respect because we're trans. We demand respect because we are human. And the post I made entirely was satire, blah, 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 blah. I don't see how wanting trans people to be treated like an actual being is annoying. And then I get more, like, positive comments, more people, like, coming on me. And then I tweeted about it because it was that one individual. And I was like, hey, um sent a Snapchat to my friend because she watched the whole thing and she was like, oh, that's horrible. I know it's like her, his sister. And I was like, I sent a Snapchat and I was like, yeah, well, stupidity is hereditary. And no, when I say like somebody, this person is stupid, I'm literally saying this person is stupid to not be mean. I'm saying it's a legitimate fact because here's the thing. 
Ignorance is curable. People can stop being ignorant by educating themselves. Stupidity, however, is permanent. Stupidity is forever. And this person is clearly stupid. They're not ignorant because they, their mind is so small, they will not open to take in the fact that more people than just straight, white, cis people exist. And yes, I just brought race into this, but like, trust me, if you've seen this girl's Facebook, you know what I'm talking about, okay? And it just, it made me so mad. And I think that's like all the screenshots I have. But now, this was all yesterday. This all happened yesterday. And I thought I was like over it, like briefly, okay? And then I get on Facebook today. And the kid who was in the Instagram posts um, earlier, the ones that I like that started this whole issue, uh, found my Facebook. <laughs> and so he's commenting on the Facebook post and he said, he is 50% female. If that, you're skipping the point of the damn post anyway. No, what the hell is the point if you're not being transphobic? Like, you're being an asshole. Like, sorry. And then he's like, no. I said, there's no point to miss other than the transphobic nature of it. She's female. She is 100% female. And then he's like, you're wrong. Not to mention she's using the wrong you're. <laughs> so I did correct him in that. And I said, no, I'm not wrong. You are not trans. You do not have a say. I am a firm believer in this. If you are not fucking trans, you have no right to say what a trans person is or isn't. I don't even have the right to say what another trans person is or isn't. I can only determine that for myself. Like, you don't have a right to do that. Like, you don't have a right to determine how a gay person feels. Like, you don't have a right to determine how a religious person feels. Like, sorry, like, it's not your decision. Like, you don't have, you don't know. Like, you have no idea. You don't get to tell another person how they're feeling. And then he says, you can correct me on that, but I completely missed the point of the post. Let me click on this again because it won't let me view the read more. But completely missed the point of the post. I don't give a fuck if you're trans. Okay, it won't let me read it and I'm so mad. But it was like a long, here we go. I don't give a fuck if you're trans, pans, or whatever, but I do not agree with it. I do not want a trans, a trans, to be with me. That's the point of the post. You're quick to jump to assumptions. You know that? All you gay, trans, lesbo, etc. people. Y'all be you, I'll be me. So, I said, that's great, okay? But being an ass and saying y'all can't tell these days and that is a damn man, which was in the original post, is wrong. You don't need to agree with it. You need to respect people as people, no matter if you agree with them or not. And like he said earlier, I said, you clearly do give a fuck if someone is trans because you don't want to be with a trans person. And then I also said, not only is the post demeaning to trans women, but more specifically to women, cis and trans alike. Like, it's so fucking rude. Like, think about that. Like, you're going to, like, tell your girlfriend that they have to be pregnant, and then you have to go with them to see the ultrasound. Like, how rude and demeaning and invasive is, like, it's none of your fucking business. And then I get, and then here it is. I wouldn't date or be with one. Not even... Not, I wouldn't date or be with a trans person. I wouldn't date or be with one. I don't have to respect any of y'all. But if y'all want to change gender and fuck each other, have fun. That's not me. As long as I'm not in the mix, I couldn't care less. Okay, well, here's the fucking problem. You clearly do care. And here's what I said. You say you don't care, but you do. The original post is completely unnecessary and you were demonizing the entire trans community, which she was. And then we get the, also, I don't have respect for any of y'all because we're trans is like saying I don't have to respect people because they're black or Catholic or Islamic. I'm pr it's pretty wrong and having a general respect for pe people is important whether or not you agree with it, like I said. Also, I wouldn't date or be with one Demoni dehumanizes trans people. Trans people, in fact, are also people. And it would make much more sense to say I wouldn't date or be with a trans person because while it's still bigoted, it's definitely more accurate. Because we are not a thing, we are people. And like I, and I said, no one changes gender. You're born with your gender. It may take you a while to like discover, figure out, explore what your gender identity is. But you're born with your gender. Just like you're born with your genitals. But here's the thing. I don't believe in such things as male and female. 
There are XX and XY chromosomes, and those don't determine a damn thing about you, except what hormones, estrogen or testosterone, race through your body. That's literally fucking it. Doesn't make you male or female. Doesn't make you a boy or a girl. Doesn't make you feminine or masculine. Has nothing to do with that. And then, like he said, he said, and he said, um, you could fuck each other. And I was like, sex has nothing to do with this. Sex has absolutely nothing to do with this. So saying fuck each other is completely irrelevant. And then he said, bro, you're so delusional, RN. The wrong you're, again. And so I corrected him on that and I said, <laughs> this is my favorite thing. I'm not delusional, I'm open-minded and respectful towards people with all walks of life. And saying right now is implying that I'm not like this all the time, which in fact is incorrect. And that is where it ends. He didn't reply. I will literally fucking live it. Like, you do not have a right to tell a trans person any of that shit. Like, don't be fucking transphobic. Like, be transphobic in your little dark room in your house. But don't fucking bring it outside. Like, you be racist, you can be racist all you want, but don't fucking bring it out and say, like, black people need to go hang themselves and we need to, like, get the KKK all up in here to kill all the black people. Like, it's horrible. And it's pretty much the same thing when you're saying that about trans people. It makes me so mad because people demonize and dehumanize trans people and be like, they're not real people, they're things, they're it's. And it's so wrong. And if you want to be called a thing or an it, great, they can fucking do it. Do I? I don't want to be called that. I'm literally so mad. I think my point is don't be a transphobic asshole. Um, transphobia is not good. <laughs> And I really do try to hold myself together. I do, 100%. I try to hold myself together, but shit like this, I do not put up with. Like, don't be a transphobic asshole. Like, sorry, I don't give a fuck what your views are. You treat people like people. Like, you're not going to go up to someone and treat them like shit or treat them like less than a human. Because you don't fucking know. And I'm like, the original post was like, this is a damn man. And like, can't fucking tell these days. There's nothing to tell. And like... I don't give a shit if he doesn't want to be with a trans person. That's his own damn problem and it'll cause him issues later in life. I don't care. Like, I don't want to be with an asshole, transphobic, shitty person like that. So if they're like, I don't want to be with a trans person, odds are trans people are not going to want to fucking be with you. So you have nothing to worry about. And I, it makes me so mad because not only like, I can understand not necessarily wanting to be with a trans person, but if you are solely basing the fact like, that you're not going to be with a trans person solely for the fact that they are transgender, that's shitty. Like, that's so shitty. Like, if it's, all, it's a factor in other things, like, I get that. Like me, I am gay. But I don't care if my male identifying partner has a dick or a vagina or both or neither. Like, I don't care. That doesn't matter to me. And I... Like, I don't care. I'm attracted to masculine identifying people, whether their traits are feminine or not. Like, that's just how, how, who I'm attracted to. But, like, that's fine. But if you're saying that you're, like, cis, and then you are gay or bi or a lesbian or whatever, and you're, like, completely excluding trans people from the fact, solely for the fact that they are trans, that is such a shitty thing to do. Like, I can understand the whole attraction bit of it, but, like, is literally the whole basis of your relationship going to be sex? Is that literally it? It makes me so mad because I'm like, you, that's, that's just shitty. It's just, it's a shitty thing to do. Like, why would you, you could have this awesome person and then they turn out to be trans and then they're like, oh, you know, like that happens to me. Like I talk to these guys and they're super nice and then I slips out that I'm trans and like we're looking into getting a relationship and they're like, you fuck no trans people are girls and they leave. And like, they're gay people, like they're gay guys my age and I'm like, that's so fucking rude. And people don't realize that like, yeah, you can be gay and you can also be transphobic. Like it's a thing that exists. Just because we're all under the umbrella term of the LGBTQ plus community doesn't mean they all accept each other. Just like bi and trans people like sometimes like support bi erasure and it's just a disaster. Another topic for another video. Sorry, I flipped out. This is what this video is going to be. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if you listen to this whole thing, I'm probably going to edit this minimally because everything that I said needs to be fucking said. If you don't like this, I'm sorry. You can unsubscribe. I don't give a shit less because I don't need you in my life if you are an asshole. <laughs>
that that's my that's my uh where I lay down the law. Um yeah. So this was a very unsuspected video. I did not have a script for this. I just kind of, I am so frustrated. I need to get it out under the camera and I feel much better. Um, so yes, if you agree with me, give this video a thumbs up, I guess. Share it with people that need to hear this because it's very important. Like to me, it could be important to you. I don't know. Do it, give it a thumbs up, share. Comment down below if you agree to something, if you disagree to something, like, I don't care what you say as long as you're having like, a respectful, civilized conversation. Like, if you're if you're gonna talk shit about trans people because they're trans and say they're freaks and whatnot, like, get the hell out. Like, I'm gonna delete your comment. But if you're gonna have a respectful, like, conversation, whether you agree with me or disagree with me or not, if you are respectful towards everybody at the party, go ahead, have a discussion in the comments, it's fine. Like, I approve of that, like, I encourage that. Go talk about this. It's important whether you agree or disagree with me. Just go do it. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to see videos like this. This is the first video I've made like this. But I don't doubt that there will be more. Um, I also do comedic videos and, like, more serious videos. I've done a couple of top, like, revolving around depression, some skit stuff. So if you're interested, make sure you go check out the rest of my channel. And I think that's all I have. Um... Also, because I'm going to add this in forever, I, uh, I'm doing a giveaway. The video is titled Best iPhone App Ever. You can follow all the instructions there. Click somewhere here and it will take you to the video. All the instructions to enter to win, like a t-shirt, water bottle, stickers, um, sunglasses, all there. Please be sure to enter. It would be really, really cool. And I really appreciate it. So, thank you. Thank you all for listening to this rant. My voice is going to go the fuck away because this is horrible. Um, also, if you're going to watch in the future, profanity will not be this bad. Good to know. Okay, I love you. Thank you for listening. Bye.